For you to be able to publish your first book on Amazon, I would assume you already have an Amazon KDP account. So if you don't know how to open a KDP account, check my previous videos in my channel to see how you can open a KDP account. So when you come here, we're going to click on create, which is this place. Create, you click on it and it's going to bring a drop down menu like this that has Kindle ebook, paperback, hardcover, series page, Kindle Vela. We don't need any of this place. What we just need is the Kindle ebook because that's what we are starting with. Okay. So you get to this place, you're going to see these options. These are where you're going to fill your book content. Everything about your book, the information you want Amazon to display that, okay, this is the content of your book. This is where you're going to display it, okay? Mind you, not everything here you will fill. So it's very important you pay attention to this video so you know where you're going to fill and where you're not going to fill, where you're supposed to touch and where you're not supposed to touch, okay? So we're going to start from the book title. And for you to get to this point, I want to assume you're, you've already done your book. That is, you already have your manuscript, your book cover is ready. If you don't know what manuscript is, manuscript is the book content itself. You've already done your book cover. You've already at least placed your title, subtitle, your description, your keywords, your back-end keywords, which is this place. You are required to put seven back-end keywords. You already have them in place. All right? I don't want to go into too much details because we just have to publish this book fast. So for our book title, let me go to my book itself. I'm actually working on a um, a book on Nema. All of us know Nema, the soccer player. So I'm just going to copy my title. I just want to copy it so it will be easier for me. Then this is my subtitle and my author name. I'm copying it step by step so I can be easy to place it. So yeah. So let's go get back. So here we are required to put our book title. You come here, put your book title. Then the subtitle, you come here, put in your subtitle. This is my top title. Now, if you notice something just happened here, immediately I put in my subtitle, they came here and brought down a drop down menu. It doesn't happen all the time, so you don't make mistake. Because my book is an English version, I'm gonna click it that it's an English. If you're writing a French book, you just come here, select French. If your book is in German, you select German. But please, it's important to take note of this place so you don't make mistake. Because I once have an account that got terminated because I did an English book and I mistakenly clicked Spanish. I would say mistakenly because it wasn't intentional. So take note. Sometimes they might not pop up this thing, but sometimes it happens. It happens for me. I don't know why. Okay, then you come to your author, the author name. The author name is same thing as pen name. If you've been hearing pen name, that's the same thing as author name, not your real name or uh, not your real name, your pen name that you use to create your book. Mine is Donald P.E., which is what I'll put here. Then you come for the description. Like I said, I would assume you've already done all your old findings and keep them one place. So I already have my description here. I've already done the research and crafted it out. I'll just copy my description. Let me copy it out. So, yeah, and I'll put it here for my book description and I'll place it. Okay, so you see. Now, there's something that usually happens when you come to the part of description. Most times when you want to put in your description, you will see that they will show something like IV under this body. Or sometimes they might not allow you pass. If it happens that way, come to this top here and click on source twice, okay? It's going to help you arrange your work very well. And you can be able to pass this stage just in case you're having this situation because I didn't have that um error but i'm saying in case you have that error or you encounter it then this other part if you notice i skipped this contributor parts so you know where that's why i said understand where you're feeling i only feel the part of auto then you come publishing rights i own i own the copyright and i hold the necessary publishing rights click it sorry i own the copyright yes that's where you're going to click does this book cover interior that contains sexually explicit content no. Now, because my book is for children, it's very important for you to take note of these parts because you're going to select age range. If it's not for children, you can either leave it or you come here and select 18 years plus, minimum, maximum 18 years plus. That is if it's not for children. But mine is for children, so I'm going to select minimum 7 years and maximum. Um, you can do maximum 12 or 11, depending on 
your target audience for the kind of book you're writing so my content is basically for children but it's a book that adults can also read so i'm doing 18 plus so which means from seven years to 18 plus that is who this book is mainly for okay so um we now go to categories Let's go to categories. Now, this is very important. Actually, like I said, it depends on the niche you're working on. If you're working on an adult book, you know where to put your categories on. I'm working on a children's book, a children's soccer book. So I'm going to go to the section of children, select one. You see where they wrote children's ebook. That's where I'm going to go to now. You go to children's ebook, then you search for what you're looking for. Mine is a biography. I'll come here, type sports and recreation and let me add another one children's ebook don't for your kindle if you know you're doing children's book for your kindle don't go outside of this children's ebook please don't go and do anything outside of children's ebook for your kindle because amazon will still they might turn down your your book you get or they might not put your book in those other categories you place them then nine to twelve years old yeah my book also contains that age i'll click on biography because it's actually a children's biography book then let's go to children's ebook again and let's search for sports yeah sports and outdoor and i'm looking for soccer yeah soccer non-fiction my book is a non-fiction book so i will save categories yep then now your seven back end keyword Remember I said that you by now you should have already researched for the keyword you want to use and you have it on ground. If you don't know how to do keyword research, check my YouTube channel. I already have a video there on how to research for keywords for your book. Okay, so I already have my keyword on ground. I'm just going to do copy, copy, copy so it will be easy for me. These are my seven back end keywords. Let me just copy it. My phone allows me copy at least five stuff at a time. So I'm just doing it like this to make it easy for me. So if yours, yours doesn't allow that way, you can be doing it one one. Let me put it. Uh, hmm. So mm, is remaining two. Is remaining two for my keywords. Okay. Let me check if there is, if I made mistake one and repeated the keyword. Very important. Don't repeat repeat keywords. Except you want your book to get blocked. Do not repeat keywords. So, okay. I didn't repeat anyone. Once you're done, just save and continue. Then we go to the next stage. We go to the next stage. So for the next stage, we upload our manuscript. Like I said, your manuscript is the book content itself. And I already told you, you should already have this on ground before now. You don't need anybody to tell you. Let me just go to my file and upload my manuscript. Then the second part, they said upload a cover you already have, your Kindle. So I already did my cover. As you can see, this is my Kindle cover. I'm going to upload it it's downloading and now this part is where it becomes juicy please always take note of where i'm clicking on don't go and click anything else always take note of the places i'm clicking my book okay now you see ai generated content they're asking is my book an ai generated content or not okay amazon um, um tells us to indicate if our book is either ai generated or ai assisted mine is ai generated to some extent and somehow ai assisted because you can't even even if you generated it 100 percent from amazon you don't want to tell them you generated it 100 percent from amazon but it is very very important that you are truthful to them you are honest to them it's very important they don't joke with that honesty so i'm going to click on yes because i actually use ai i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you get so for text what did you use I'm going to come click some sections with extensive editing. Then which tool do you use? You see, they gave example here, ChatGPT. So me, I use Gemini um, and um, for it is an AI. And I also use mixture of cloud AI for my book. So I'm just going to put it here. Then 
for my images as you can see here this image is not something i generated with my head now and it's not just only canva i did a mixture of ideogram and canva so i'm going to come here click one or few ai generated images with extensive editing as you can see they gave example here dao e so but i use ideogram so i'm going to indicate here that i use ideogram and also canva i can decide to not put canva but i'm putting it because i use both of them then for translations i did not do any form of translation but this is for those of you that are doing books on different languages so if you did it you can now click on whatever it is for example some sections the same editing example google translate but i did not use it so i'm going to click on none okay now look at this place they wrote online preview and quality check you see they wrote well done your manuscript does not have spelling errors or image issues this is very important always check it sometimes they'll tell you you have two spelling error sometimes they'll tell you your image have issues make sure your work is clean you don't have any error do you get me make sure that your work is clean once you're done you save and continue and now you go to pricing if you've already have access to a course i believe you must have been taught on how to price your book which is by checking your competitors and knowing their price to be able to compare with what they have and what they don't have to know what to price your book i've already done my research and i've already have in my head what to use for my price <laughs> do you get so for year i'm using 4.99 dollars for my book and when you come here you're going to see where they wrote um rates 70 percent royalty 3.47 which means my book is going for the rate of 4.99 dollars but amazon will be paying me 3.47 for each sale i made on this book and even if other marketplaces buys it you see what i'm getting from other marketplaces do you get so also this place you see i selected 70 percent instead of 35 percent what it means is that when you make a sale you get 70 percent amazon gets 35 percent this is where they divided it here you see 35 percent 1.75 this is amazon's own why 70 percent is my own for this price that i use also so people will tell you click on arrow uh, your book on kdp select if you want your book to have visibility maybe the first five days or first few days of publishing if you want people to read your um be able to read your book for free and they pay you some cents when i say cents it's for example 0 0.00 0 0.01 dollar or something it's not even up to one dollar cents you enroll your book on kdp seller my book is not for free so i'm not enrolling it i don't want to give it out for free so this is all and once you're done you publish your kindle ebook and that is all you need to do all right i had to crop this out so you guys don't see you see your book has been published then now they're telling me to go to paperback i don't want to um go ahead and start doing paperback in this video i'm going to do it offline because this is the end of this video but i'm just going to show you explain to you what you're going to be doing in this paperback basically almost the same thing the same thing the same procedure once you come here everything is already placed here everything you, are, you already filled before will come back the only thing you need to do is come here and choose your categories for your paperback now you can decide to put adult categories on it it doesn't matter for paperback and hard, hard cover you can decide to put adult categories and that's it so once you're done with here you go to the next page upload your pdf file of your manuscript and upload your paperback cover that you did and launch preview put your price remember paperback price is higher than that of kindle and hardcover price is higher than that of paperback and kindle so take note of that then you publish your book i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any question drop it under the comment section and i'll be glad to answer them all